what's the expected uh, playbook for this market as we get back, uh, as we get into the uh, deeper end of the year? In the second half, let's uh, get Ayode Jiebo, who is a CEO at Afrinvest uh, Securities, to talk to us. He's live to us from our Lagos studios. Good morning, Ayodeji, and it's good to have you uh, on the on the program this morning. Uh, look morning, at where Boston. the market is right now, the equity side uh, for us, and let's have a bit of a drill down on what you can call the key ratios, the key analysis, and the strategies moving forward. If you give us a Pan-African view of where we are at the moment, what, how does Nigerian equities look? Yeah, interesting. Uh, we've seen we've seen the downtrend in the market even in the last few weeks on the back of sell-offs across emerging markets, so not per peculiar only to Nigeria. But looking at in terms of valuation multiples, uh, we'll be comparing uh, based on valuation in terms of price to earnings and price to book. Um, Nigeria currently trading around 10.6 um, uh, times price to earnings and around 1.7 times price to book. And when you compare that to some other African markets, uh, the Kenya market is still around um, uh, 20 times uh, price to book. Uh, you look at even the South African market, which is still around 15 times uh, price to book. So we uh, looking at in terms of pricing, uh, the Nigerian market still presents um, opportunities, still um, relatively cheap uh, compared to other African mar markets. So this shows that uh, there are upside potential. And what we've seen most um, investors, what they've been um, doing is to take advantage of uh, stocks um, that are shedding um, significant weight. So what we are seeing is not like a seller's market that we, um, investors are all trying to just exit the market at the same time. But you would also see that some of those stocks that are touching new lows within the last um, eight weeks, in the last um, 50 days, uh, you see investors taking significant interest in some of those stocks. You mentioned earlier in terms of GT Bank. Uh, you look at Zenit, even First Bank, when it touched 9 era, um, 75 cover yesterday, saw interest um, in some of those stocks. So what people, uh, investors will be watching out for, the, yeah, there are a lot of, um, they have been very cautious um, ahead of um, election, as well as the exit of um, some portfolio investors. But uh, we feel, still feel for um, stocks that still have um, strong fundamentals and have also presented um, uh, consistent in terms of payment of interim dividend, um, final dividend. In investors will take opportunity to buy them at very cheap uh, price prices compared to where they were in the last three or four months. Uh, look at these two uh, strong pillars. Uh, on the fundamental side, on the micro side, Nigeria is strong on consumer goods and industrial goods. Just a bit of a play there if you look at the cement makers and the construction uh, giants, uh, just about one or two listed on the market. But so, these two uh, uh, subsectors, what's the play here when we continue to see this sell off? And again, a bit of a bargain hunting, if you want to put it. Look at the Angote Cement yesterday, about 1.4 million US dollars of transactions, but Lafarge lost a little bit uh, on, on the counter. So if you look at these two sectors, what are the foreign portfolio investors trying to play here? Yes, um, looking at it, uh, month to date, uh, the last six trading days, um, the consumer goods uh, sector, as well as the industrial goods, has shared about 5% and 3%, percent and 3% respectively. And looking at it year to date, shared about 20 and um, I think 25% uh, respectively. But uh, be, uh, um, beyond the banking space that um, the foreign investors play significantly, consumer goods and industrial goods are also sectors that we know they hold significant um, uh, uh, significant holdings in, in, in that particular sector. So uh, the sell-off that we are seeing is as a result of some of the foreign investors that are trying to reduce the exposure to emerging markets, trying to, ahead of um, even 20, uh, 2019 general elections, some of them are also trying to move their, um, based on what uh, the, uh, the appreciation the market has recorded, um, when you compare it on a year-on-year -year basis, trying to take out the, uh, some of their, um, book some of their gains and move it to safer investment. We, you are, we are all aware in terms of outlook, um, 
uh, outlook of fixed income instruments in the U.S., yields are, are rising, and for them, uh, they are more comfortable with the lower yield, though we know in terms of FX have been very stable. Liquidity has also been fair, fair enough, but because of some political uncertainty, some foreign investors prefer to reduce their exposure. But we've also seen interest on, um, from also some um, major foreign investors. So what we've been seeing is not like a seller's market, but on a net basis, we've seen more, more of these foreign investors selling than buying. So they are very cautious. It's when they see that the opportunity lastly going down, breaking three-month uh, three low, and six month low, they take position in some of those stocks because when you look at in terms of fundamentals, for most of these uh, companies, uh, they still have very strong fundamentals. When you look at their Q Q1 result, we're expecting Q2 result anytime from now. That is also going to shape in terms of uh, direction uh, in, in, in the market in the coming weeks. But we'll continue to see the mixture of. Uh, Ayo, yes. I, let, let's move on very quickly uh, uh, due to time constraints. This is the second week with the new market structure that the Nigerian Stock Exchange uh, introduced. Uh, uh, you, you've talked to your traders. You're the CEO, so you've got traders uh, on the floor, online, uh, trading uh, uh, through the engine. So uh, how has this uh, new market structure play out vis-a-vis -vis what we had a bit earlier in the year with the new uh, pricing methodology of the Nigerian Stock Exchange? What have we seen the trend in volume and value and the transactions that are done on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, the new market structure, uh, the current liquidity that we're seeing in the market, um, we can, won't, li uh, won't try to link it to um, what um, the uh, current market structure presents. We've seen in terms of average liquidity uh, or uh, average volume in the market has declined about 24%, uh, uh, around an average of about 250 million uh, units compared to uh, last month, which was around uh, 400 and 500 million units. Also, volume has also declined by about 39% uh, uh, comparing it to last month. But what this new market structure has uh, um, uh, pre uh, uh, presents to especially market participants is that um, it, it, has a, it presented, uh, presents a, a fair playing uh, ground for most of the market participants because uh, initially uh, pre open when you don't have for most um, um, in investors or traders, you, you, you don't have control over in terms of the, the reference price which does not tie to what the previous price, uh, pre previous close. But currently, with during trading section, stocks can move as high as 10% and can lose as high as 10%. There's also a period where you, you have to be sure in terms of the price at which you are comfortable to, um, to key, key in your trades, that you don't see the market such that some, um, you hear when people can try to, based on what they can see in the market, try to manipulate the market. So what we are seeing is, it's going to provide confidence and, and also improve the integrity of the market. Um, the situation we have right now is just because um, of some of the, um, in terms of participation in the market has reduced. But we know once uh, we uh, see uh, interest Ayo, within the market. Uh, Ayo, a very yeah. quick one. Uh, Ayo, a very quick one. And you have about uh, 10 uh, seconds to uh, uh, say this. What's the uh, short term strategy? of investing right now in equities 10 seconds i think um using technical analysis will be very will be very helpful we've seen some of those stocks that uh even penny stocks investors are still making money from this market uh, though fundamentals is very key but you also use uh, the technical indicators to also looking at the relative strength index the macd will also help you to know when to to come into the market and when to exit short-term investors are really taking position in this market. And for long-term investors, um, it's also time that you can also take position, but we we'll also continue to preach uh, caution. Don't be too aggressive uh, 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 on uh, the I market. I uh, uh, thank you very much. Let's leave it there for today. The CEO at Afro Investing Securities. Thank you very much for your time.